In other news, the Rakaniti Governor Mutomi Njuki has cautioned Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa against dragging the Mount Kenya region into his woes, insisting what is going on between him and President William Ruto is a personal matter. According to Governor Njuki, communities residing in the 11 Mount Kenya counties stood to lose out if they took sides this early and abandoned the government they fought so hard to put in place. The restlessness within the Mount Kenya region continues by the day as politicians in the ruling United Democratic Alliance Party, UDA, took sides in a feud setting the party leader, President William Ruto, against his deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa. Whilst DP Gashagwa says he is being persecuted for agitating for the unity of Mount Kenya, there are those pushing the narrative that the DP has fallen out with his boss for selfish reasons. The Rakanithi governor, Mudomi Njoke, believes the war if any, should not involve the people of Mount Kenya. So I do not want us to give the government an excuse. Njoke, who spoke in Mara constituency, said the war within UDA should be the least of worries for the people of Tarakanithi and the region at large. Thus, they should not be forced to take a position on it. On Friday, at a church service in Roiro, DP Gashagwa castigated some leaders from Mount Kenya who are against the unity calls, saying those not in his fold were few leaders who are yet to move with the winds of change. Just few leaders here and there and we understand some are being intimidated they are being coerced they are being threatened oh if you call for unity you shall not have projects oh if you are seen with the deputy president things can be very bad but those are normal things in politics but what is important is not the unity around here. The battle lines are drawn as those in President Ruto's corner and those in DP Gashagwa's corner continue preaching their gospel, discrediting the other in the hope their voices will be louder and yield fruits. Brian Mushiri, NTV.